When did Toronto become New York City, dude? This is a big ass city. Your traffic is formidable. I almost, I almost cursed some people out from in the car and I wasn't driving it. It's getting close. The city's getting frustrating. It's, you, it may turn Canadian people mean. That's how frustrating this city's getting. It's really crazy, dude. It's like New York with Indian guys in Toronto Blue Jay hats, you know? That's a little spice that gives it the Toronto feel. And the compulsory mask, what the fuck's going on with that? The airport, you gotta wear the mask. It's like, dude, this is Canada. Weren't you guys forced to get like your 20th boost by now already? It's like women haven't had their period in a year. It's all right. Let it happen, Canada. Okay, suggestion from the audience. Subway. Subway? Like the sandwich shop or the train? Oh, I can do whatever I want? I like the freedom here. I thought you guys, I thought this was more of a socialist country, but you guys want me to take it, unregulated, make it a business. Subway, yeah, I'd like to open a franchise here. That would be, that would be nice, right? That would add to your cuisine, which is pretty bland to begin with anyway. <laughs> Subway, eat fresh. Thank God it wouldn't be in Montreal, right? I'd have to put it in French or something. I'd have to call it Les Subway. <laughs> Just good old English. What about Jared Fogel? Jared Fogel? Good guy, you know? I think he's a kindergarten teacher in jail or something like that. That's actually when cancel culture started, I think. Jared Fogel, when they took a look into him, I mean, he probably just didn't want to get too famous. Like, he thought he was going to do one campaign, get enough money to run his own, like, you know, island where he could do what he wanted. And then it just got too big, man. It got too big. He got smaller eating Subway, but his fame got bigger, you know? And it got taken down. You gotta fly under the radar. All right, another suggestion. You say Titanic? Titanic. Those were the good old days, huh? Good old days where you could... Land acknowledgement. Land of what? Acknowledgement. Land of acknowledgement? Dude, I don't even know what that suggestion is. Are you reading poetry on your phone right now? What? Land of acknowledgement. I don't even know what to do with that. Which land are we talking about? Iran? Because we're not acknowledging that one. That's too much of a sticky situation. Not as sexy a cause as the Ukraine. Which, by the way, if all your tickets weren't donated to the Ukraine, I'm fucking protesting this show right now. Titanic, let me tell you. I'm, 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 an equal, I'm for equality with women. I don't like that movie. I feel like that movie was unequal, dude. It should have been 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off that raft. <laughs> that little piece of wood, he should have been like, look, Rose, we're equal. You're on the raft, I'm on the raft. Whoever freezes first wins. <laughs> Another suggestion. <laughs> Indian food's a challenge every time. Do you think the waiters at Indian restaurants just, when they see a white person walk into the restaurant, they just yell chicken tikka masala? <laughs> They're like, we already know what your order is. It's our least popular dish. It's not even a real Indian dish. We just made it up for you people. Two tikka masalas. All right, another one. Greek Easter. Greek Easter, the real Easter. <laughs> Yeah, your guys' Easter is just a dress rehearsal for the real one that we do like two weeks later. <laughs> Greek Easter, it's, a, you know, it's Greeks that we have a different Easter. It comes later and it's interesting. We get, we march outside the church, 300 people with just carrying candles, like walking with fire, disrupt the whole neighborhood. So if you look out your window and you see like 300 Greeks <laughs> chanting, with candles, you're like, is this is, are, is Game of Thrones shooting a new season in Toronto? What the fuck is going on? Are our Cossacks coming to rape us? <laughs> All right, one one mas, una mas. Royal family. Royal family? How come you have like a New York accent, that guy? I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> like, royal family. I'm like, what part of Toronto are you from, dude? You from the Danforth? 
Royal family. Yeah, what a fucking crock of shit that is. It's like crazy. The royal, it's like, I can't believe there's like, England is like cool with that. Still having like a queen and a king. You have one here too? I don't even know. I don't pay attention that much to Canada, you know? Well, my God is Trudeau, okay? All right, I'm coming back up here to go to a costume Halloween party with him, so. <laughs> Ceremonial queen and king, it's ridiculous, man. It's like celebrating like a feudal system and oppression. That's all that was. The queen and king, they pillaged. There was no upward mobility in a feudal system. It's like, might as well have a ceremonial dictator, you know? <laughs> Germany should still have like a Fuhrer, but just ceremonial, you know? <laughs> he just comes out like, hello, yes, how's everybody doing? Yes, everybody just, we're just here to represent the country and we're going a little march and so there's some ceremonial ovens there that don't use them. We don't use them just to look at. The taxpayers love it. Look at that oven. By the way, there's two jobs that Germans should never be ever allowed to do, and that is be a baker or a train conductor. That... <laughs> Imagine being a Jew and getting on a train and hearing, hello, stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring the great Jeremiah Watkins back up here. Yo! Keep it going for Yanis Papas. Yes! Yeah. It's good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Yeah, man. How well, you been? Good. Good. How about yourself? You get into it's a Canada all right? I got into Canada all right. It was tough. I mean, the customs was tough on me until, and then I was just like, you know what? I just said, hey, look, I'm a Syrian refugee. And then they just, they let me in, and they, they, they gave me a house. So I live here now, so. That's how you get into Canada. Just be like, I'm from Iraq. I'm fleeing a war. They're like, take the country. It's yours. Uh, what do we got? Ice Machine, Godzilla. What was this one over here? Billionaires going to space. I like billionaires in space. Billionaires in space, yeah. Yeah, that just shows you how disconnected you get when you get a billion dollars, right? Yeah. Your ideas are just like, yeah, we'll go to Mars. And then you're like, well, you, nobody can breathe there. Like, we'll nuke the poles. You're like, what? <laughs> like, we'll figure it out. It's like, hey, man, you could, like, you could make everyone be able to have a meal on this entire planet and a roof. You're like, no, nah, dude, you're not listening to me. Okay? <laughs> We should live on Mars. <laughs> yeah, it's weird when you see firsthand, like your friends or family, like how money affects them once they get a taste. Oh, you know? yeah. Everyone's liberal till they get rich, right? Yeah. <laughs> then they become socially liberal, fiscally conservative. <laughs> my, my brother, uh, we had this, uh, this New Year's Eve where my mom uh, in Kansas, she rented us a stretch... Uh, SUV limo for New Year's Eve, and like my mom always says this 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 quote. She always says, "We're gonna be somebody tonight." <laughs> That's how you know we're white trash. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like like you know that something's like 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 we're trying to compensate real hard for like a whole life. Like if you're like. Tonight's gonna be different, you know? <laughs> did you did you take the stretch limo and pull it right into the parking lot of a Denny's? Is that what happened? <laughs> just pull up to a Chick-fil-A? Ah, we're eating in style tonight. Just just stunting on people? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we pulled up though, and uh, this is how I knew my brother would be a terrible person with money. Like as we were driving by, he was rolling down the window and fake coming on people. <laughs> As we just drove by, and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, isn't this great? And I'm like, you should never have money. <laughs> have you ever had someone in your life where they've changed like when money? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're in comedy, all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you used to have a heart. They're like, fuck that. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm rich now. So, yeah. yeah. It's a billionaire. A billionaire in America is what? Like 100,000 an air in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> you're booing now because you don't have a billion dollars. Once you have a billion dollars, you're like, I'm moving to Florida. Uh, what else we got? What else we got, guys? Did you say exchange rates? I don't know, dude. I don't understand your money. It's like, you guys, it's like you carry around gold like this is medieval Europe. 
go to the store to buy a pack of gum, you just pull out a bunch of toonies and you're like, clank, 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 clank. You just push silver across the table. Is this enough, sire? <laughs> I just need to get maxi pads for my wife. <laughs> it's all I require of your service here at the CVS. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> The CVS receipts are just like manuscripts. Like, yeah. in my time. They look like scrolls. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Lots of coupons. House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. Are you watching the new House of the Dragon? Yeah. yeah. Are you, you, you watching that? I don't watch it, but don't these people live beyond the wall, right? You guys go. <laughs> a month, you'll turn into White Walkers. We in the North! We in the North! I'm like, dude, you guys are not that far up. Maine is farther up than you. <laughs> You're not the north, you're four hours from Syracuse. That's where you are. <laughs> Me and my father's father are from the north. Yeah. <laughs> let's, grab, uh, let's grab one more suggestion. Prop comedians. Yeah. Those, are the, those comedians are the ones everyone makes fun of, but they're the ones that really figured it out, no? <laughs> they get some big laughs. Yeah. yeah, and especially now where people get like very, uh, everyone's sensitive. Yeah. We should bring puppets back and just be like, huh? And then like people get mad at the puppet, come up and punch it, you know? And you're right. Like, Take out all your aggression yeah, on the puppet. Yeah, say all the jokes you want to say just through a puppet. I mean, Jeff Dunham had it figured out for a while. I did, yeah. <laughs> to be able to say the yeah. wildest things. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I am jalapeno. I miss this. And you're like, is the white guy controlling that Mexican puppet? It was like, this is Ahmad the terrorist. Mahanda Adi! Mahanda Adi Adi Death to America! Dude. Everyone's like, fuck that puppet. He's like, yeah, I know. It's like, it's you, dude. It's you. And no, it's not. That's Ahmed. Dude, if those were the ones that made it into production, <laughs> what do you think of the puppets that didn't even make the cut? Oh. Because even Jeff Dunham was like, this might be a little bit too much. <laughs> it's like, I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> I eat boys. <laughs> Hello, my name is Hans, the Nazi. Uh, Hans, what did I say about your Jew talk? <laughs> I'm Jordan Peterson. <laughs> oh. uh, gender is just a thought. <laughs> my name's Andrew Tate. Get a supercar. Get yourself a supercar. Women are not homo sapien. <laughs> no matter how much they talk and they walk, they may appear to be bipedal homo sapiens, but they're not. They're not. They're just tools to use to get a supercar. Andrew. Andrew, stop. What a misogynist, Whoa, huh? He's the worst. God. <laughs>